what's going on guys this is what are you doing this video today is on a father's impact on, on child development so of course we we have to know that everything we do as a father when they are when they can't talk when they can't when they can't do anything for themselves uh, we we have to engage our children from from newborn actually I've heard that uh, you you can engage your child inside the womb and of course I, I did do that at, at some point not a lot I probably should have did it more but a father's impact on child development this blog was done by Children's Bureau and I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go in and read the majority of this uh, I found this thing really fascinating so check this out this is a uh, 10 facts about father engagement uh, fathers and infants can be equally as attached as mothers and infants when both parents are involved with with the child infants are attached to both parents from the beginning of life so we always look at uh, you know we we have the saying uh, the girls are for the dads uh, because usually girls you know they cling to their dads more than they cling to their mom and usually the boys will cling to their moms of course according, according to this that's not the case uh, father involvement is related to positive child health outcomes and in infants such as improved weight gain in preterm infants and improved breastfeeding rates number three father involvement using authoritative parenting loving and with clear boundaries and expectations leads to better emotional academic social and behavioral outcomes for children so this is this is something that's um, that it just should be you would think it's common sense but of course there's not too many things that's common sense because of the way people do things number four children who feel a closeness to their father are twice as likely as those who do not enter college to find uh, stable employment after high school 75 percent less likely to have a teen birth 80 percent less likely to spend time in jail and half as likely to experience multiple depression symptoms number five fathers occupy a crucial role in, in child development father absence hinders development from early infant through a childhood and into adulthood I'm gonna read that again father absence hinders development from early infant through childhood and into adulthood we got to be there early man we got to be there early and often and listen I, I'm not saying I was a perfect dad because you know when you when you talk about being involved being involved is doing a lot of stuff that kids want to do uh, doing the things that we know that'll that'll uh, help our kids help our kids to grow um, and just being there especially for the extracurricular stuff being there really really helps their confidence um, the, the psychological harm of father absence experienced during childhood persists throughout the life course so basically they're saying that when you don't do this there's effects all through the, the, the child's life uh, into adulthood number six the quality of the father-child relationship matters more than the specific amount of hours spent together. Non-resident fathers can have positive effects on, uh, on children's social and emotional well-being, as well as academic achievement and behavioral adjustment. I believe that. Uh, number seven, high levels of father involvement are correlated with high levels of sociability, confidence, and self-control in children. And so I do believe that also because the more you're involved with your kids, the less likely they'll have uh, issues in school, especially the dad. Uh, children with involved fathers are less likely to act out in school or engage in risky behaviors in adolescence. Once again, we gotta be there. We have to be there for our kids. Uh, children, with actively, children with actively involved fathers are 43% more likely to earn A's in school and 33% less likely to repeat a grade than those without engaged dads. Okay, so I had an engaged dad and, and sometimes these these things that they write is not 100% to me, uh, you know, because I did some stupid stuff in school, but 
you know, it, it, it all turned out good because I had good parenting and, and involvement from my parents. And so it, it really, it worked out for me in the end because I ended up, you know, with a master's degree. And, and so, you know, no matter what we do as parents, we, the things that we instill in our kids, even if they don't get it in the beginning, they, they'll get it later on. I, I was watching something that Judge Judy said uh, because she said that in her, in her life, she didn't really, you know, really become what she wanted to be later in life. And things started opening up for her later in life. One of the things she said was, if you didn't complete it, if you didn't do it at 20, you can do it in your 30s. If you didn't do it in your 30s, you can do it in your 40s and, sh and so on she went. So it's never too late to do the things that you always wanted to do, especially, yeah, I mean, of course, with kids, you can't come back, you, you know, you can't, you can't go back and say, okay, I'll go back and fix this. That's what therapy is for. Uh, number nine, uh, father engagement reduces the frequency of behavioral problems in boys while also decreasing delinquency and economic disadvantage in low income families. And the 10th and final one, father engagement reduces psychological problems and rates of depression in young women. Man, that's powerful. That's a powerful one. Father engagement reduces psychological problems and rates of depression in young women. You know, sometimes we, you know, I'm, I'm not a psychologist, but I, I know psychologists really, really are up on this one because, you know, fathers today, a lot of fathers today, especially in, uh, in, in my community, some, some fathers don't realize the effect that we have on our, on our girls and on our boys, on our kids in general. But, um, but anyway, guys, like I said, I'll, link the, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, this was done by Children's Bureau. This was actually done, uh, what is that, 5-12-2023. That's May 12th, 2023. This, was, this blog was completed. Uh, there's actually more stuff that they talk about about this when it comes down to our kids. And uh, if you'd like to check it out, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. So what are you doing? I'll talk to y'all on the next one. Y'all be cool.